Can you clean this? Mm -hmm. It's good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are shooting from our new design office. I'm so excited. If you are new to the channel, welcome. You can subscribe and press the bell. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for the support. I love you guys. Today we are doing something really fun. Today we are talking about six ways that you're doing the no makeup makeup wrong. You guys know that I love the whole natural embracing your flaws type of look but you know a little help always goes a long way and it actually takes some time to master the perfect no makeup makeup look. So first of all I wanted to say a huge thank you to Nude by Nature for partnering up with me for this video. You guys know that I've been using Nude by Nature for a while now and feature them in quite a bit of my videos because some of these are literally my staples. Nude by Nature is actually Australia's number one mineral makeup brand and it's now available in Canada. So for all my Canadian babes, if you're looking for the products, you can find them at Chopper's Drug Mart at choppersdrugmart.ca and more information at nudebynature.ca. I'm gonna link all of it in the description box. Let's get right into the tips that make sure that you're gonna master the no makeup makeup look. So tip number one is you are not focusing enough on your skin. So skin is really the most important base to this look. You want to make sure that you prime it, you hydrate it properly, you use your rose water to get that glow. That's the best base for the no makeup makeup look. Mistake number two that you probably do is you're covering way too much. So a lot of us probably went through different stages in our lives where we put so much coverage on. I know I did. I used to literally spend 10 minutes on just putting my foundation on and slowly but surely it took me some time to get used to showing more of my flaws and embrace my natural look so freckles any kind of spots that I tried so hard to cover I started embracing them and finding ways to really use products that don't feel cakey but still cover enough to make me feel comfortable I am using the sheer glow BB cream here from nude by nature and these products are all made with 100% naturally derived ingredients and there are no synthetic ingredients or preservatives in them and then we're going to move to our concealer. So again with the concealer, so many girls that I see are using so much of it. And the trick is really finding the one that works for you. For me, because right now I'm a new mom stage with my third baby. Hey Maxi! I like to use a little bit more of a pinkish shade before I apply my light shade on. So this is just to balance off the dark circles of the no sleep that I'm going through right now. And then I'll use the perfecting concealer to top it off and to really balance those dark circles and make it look fresh and light under my eyes. I'll also use the perfecting concealer to put out any spots that are bothering me. When you're choosing concealers, make sure to choose something that is light and it's hydrating. There's a lot of them on the market that dry up and actually make your eye area feels dehydrated and look dehydrated. We want to avoid that. So this concealer is my go-to to make sure that it has the right amount of hydration and coverage. Tip number three is something that I've been doing for a while now and I mentioned it in my model's beauty secrets. You guys can watch it if you didn't and it's actually swapping your black mascara for a brown mascara. So when you go out in the evening, it's so wonderful. You put your black mascara on, it really gives you that extra oomph. But when you want to reach for the more natural look that make it seem like you didn't even try that hard, brown mascara is the way to go. So this is the Allure Defining Mascara from Nude by Nature in brown. This is the perfect way to make your eyes pop but still look like these are just your natural lashes. Tip number four is using a beautiful color that is the closest to your lip tone to put on your lips for a little pop and on your cheeks. I love using the same color for my cheeks and lips, something natural, something that kind of flows together and doesn't look like I've been sitting and choosing from different palettes. And this is actually my new favorite color. This is the Creamy Matte Lipstick in Rose Quartz. And this color is kind of nudie, kind of rosy, very close to my original lip color and just gives that little pop of liveness to the face without distracting too much. You know your girl loves a multi-purpose product, so I might even use it as an eyeshadow. Tip number six is your eyebrows are too perfect. 
there is such a thing a defined brow is a great way to make a dramatic look pop more but if you are interested in you know doing your makeup for work or for daytime activities you want to make sure that you really go soft on the brows the technique that I use that I like is really called feathering and basically what you do is just little strokes on your brows to make them feel fluffy and very light and no harsh lines you want to brush them up and kind of give that bushy brook shields look even if you have small little eyebrows like mine actually you want to make sure that your highlighter is not too sparkly for a night look sparkly is awesome if you want to go out there with a bang sparkle is great but during the day you really want to go for more dewiness and less sparkly unicorn so here i'm using the nude by nature highlight stick in champagne and this is a beautiful example of a dewy highlighter that just feels like you're sweating in all the right places and the sunshine knows where to hit your face so this is it you guys this is my ways of mastering the no makeup makeup look with nude by nature all the products that i've used are all cruelty free PETA certified and clean so you guys don't have to sacrifice your health to look beautiful naturally I'm gonna mention all the shades and all the colors that I use in the description box and link to the website if you guys are interested and this is it do you guys have any tricks that you use to make that subtle beauty shine from within but also from the outside because it has to be a balance thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time